A group of 8th graders circled around applied technology teacher, Mr. Colin Connie, with a look of curiosity mixed with some skepticism. Could Mr. Connie really launch a paper rocket using a bike pump and a sprinkler valve? The short answer, yes. we're going to give it a go at 10 pumps. I hope this works right now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow! <laughs> District 58's applied technology classes give students the unique opportunity to interactively learn science, technology, engineering, and math skills, also called STEM skills. The class gives students hands-on assignments, hoping to inspire a lifelong interest in a STEM field. When asked what they like most about the class, they said, it's it's building, yeah, you get build constructing, everything. engineering. Yeah, I like to build it. things because I love technology. This October, Mr. Connie's thrust, class right, so applied lessons right, in drag, thrust. gravity, our and thrust to, to build their own paper rockets. Our smaller rockets, all right? I just built a standard yeah, rocket just standard. like we, we were doing before. It's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more durable, um, and I think you guys will. Like the results. Um, Once Mr. Connie taught them ready. how, the kids were ready to make their own paper rockets. And what's your plan? Um, I'm going to make my body of my rocket bigger, see if that like affects anything, because this is my normal one and then it's going to be that big. Okay. And then I'm going to try to make a smaller one, period, too. You're going to take it to Once created, the class went outside to test their paper rockets. The rockets came in all colors, shapes, and sizes. One particularly creative rocket resembled a bat. Some rockets traveled far. Other paper rockets flew high. And the bat rocket was fun to watch. No matter how far their rockets flew, the experiment helped everyone in Mr. Connie's class learn a little more about applied technology and even got many students interested in learning more.